The question is that the address be agreed to. I call the member for right. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I rise to support the speakers before me in celebrating the diamond jubilee of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. As a proud monarchist, uh, it gives me great pleasure to extend a warm congratulations to Her Majesty's Queen, the second on the occasion of her diamond jubilee. For most of us, Elizabeth has been our queen for as long as I can remember, and it's difficult to imagine a monarchy without her. In fact, the only British monarchy to reign for as long as her was a great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. Over the last 60 years, the Queen has conducted herself with such grace, dignity and quiet authority that it's easy for us to forget the role uh, is one that she neither sought nor expected. She was unexpectedly thrust into the position as the first in the line of the throne, the only um, throne only after the shock, abduction of her uncle Edward VIII and the elevation of her father Albert, subsequently known as King George VI. The legacy of Queen Elizabeth reigns will be one of, uh, of dedication and exemplary service. Her sense of duty was well and truly in place even before she ascended to the throne. Indeed, it was on her 21st birthday that she famously declared that she intended to devote her whole life, uh, whether it be long or short, to the service of the people of the Commonwealth. I suspect there were very few of us who, who expressed such noble sentiments at our 21st birthday speeches. Since that time, she stayed true to that vow and, in my opinion, thoroughly earned every privilege ordered to her at, the, at her birth. In fact, the Queen has set a new standard for selflessness um, dedicated that would leave many in this place in her shade. We consider ourselves to be busy people, but Her Majesty the Queen has maintained a schedule equal to, if not greater than ours, not for a couple of terms of three years or not for a couple of decades, but half of the century. And now, at the age of 85 years, uh, she now shows few signs of slowing down. I bring the room's attention to our the Majesty's recent visit to Australia, where her schedule kept her enormously busy, and yet the, the stamina of the lady was one thing that both my wife and I commented on, um, and I, I, I dare say that both our parents would have not been able to keep up with the schedule uh, of, the, of the Queen. It's amazing to think of the changes that have marked this period in our history, the expansion of the Commonwealth, the growth of the U European Union, the end of the Cold War, uh, the threat of terrorism that has engulfed the world. And throughout this period, through the changes, the Queen has remained a continuous beacon of the values of our system of which this government is built on. We are justifiably proud in this country of our standing as one of the world's oldest continuous democracies. However, I believe that we owe a great deal of the stability to the Westminster system of government that we inherited from our British forebearers. The Queen has a special place in the hearts of all Australians. That much is obvious from the tens of thousands who gathered to see her when she visited Australia last year. I believe the monarch is going through something of a resurgence at the moment. Some people still talk of the need for a public, but I believe the public outpouring of support for the Queen seen in recent times, uh, not only just for the Queen but for Prince William, for his new bride, the royal family and more broadly uh, will be that crusade to crusade to bed for the foreseeable future, in my opinion, uh, that's not a bad thing. In times of constant change and turbulence, whether those upheavals are political, social or economical, it is used to have something good, it's good to have something uh, good that surrounds us. A point to which we can look at and be a reminder of who we are, where we come from and how, we, as a nation, we do things. I conclude by again offering my warm congratulations to Her Majesty on this remarkable achievement. Maybe she always be remembered and dedicated and a result source of wisdom and continuity. Long live the Queen.